this video I'm gonna talk about one of the most used concept in the CSR programming language and this concept is switch statement the switch statement is used to return the value based on multiple conditions so basically this is a kind of replacement of multiple if else block let's see how it works so for example let's just remove this line from here and over here let's assume that I'm having one string value let's assume that I'm having a variable with name country and this is of string type and in this country I'm having let's say I'm getting the value from the console dot read line like this now I want to write a logic that based on the value of this country I want to return something for example the user is writing India USA China Japan whatever user is writing over here based on that value I want to return or I want to perform some kind of logic so one approach is that you can use multiple if or else block the another approach is you can use the switch statement over here okay so you have to do it like this first you have to start your concept with the switch this is a fixed reserve keyword in CSR programming language and this switch statement is available in almost all the programming languages okay inside the switch statement inside the parenthesis you have to pass the value basically you can put it as a hard code or you can also pass it dynamically just like I'm doing over here here you have to write multiple cases so first case is so this is the first case and just give the space and you have to write the value for example if the value of this country is India then this part will execute okay so let's assume that here I'm writing console dot write line and here let's say I'm writing hello hello from India and my language is Hindi like this okay this is how we can write the switch and case so this is the switch this is the condition or basically the value and this is the case so this value will be matched against this particular case okay now here let's use one more case like this and this time here I'm gonna use the USA like this so it means if the value of this country is USA then this particular block will work on the other hand if the value is different of all of them then here I have to use one default statement and in the default again I have to use this colon and I can write not found so this is a break keyword it is also available in the CSR programming language and it is not only the part of switch and case we can also use it at other places so let's use this break keyword here as well like this and also after this default so this is the simplest way to write the switch case statement and now let's run this application and this is the console window and here first I'm typing this India like this just hit the enter button and you can notice we are getting this message hello from India my language is Hindi I think we need to update the message from this USA let's use this USA here and use it as the English okay now let's try with this USA so here you can see if I'm typing this USA hit the enter button you can notice I'm getting this message from this second case and let's run this application one more time and this time I will type some random keyword for example it is Japan let's hit the enter button you can notice none of them is executed because this value this Japan value is not matching with any of this case so ultimately this is a kind of else statement so this default will be executed if none of them is available this is the oldest way to write the switch case statement there are also multiple ways to write this switch case statement so let's try all of them over here so first I'm gonna extract this entire code in a different method and I can do that easily by using this visual studio so here I'm just right clicking and selecting it and writing this extract method switch case one that's it so what I am having over here is this is basically a method and inside this method I'm just writing this switch case statement now I want to write this switch case statement by using the another approach if I will run this application then again you will see that there is no difference in this functionality for example it is USA I am getting the message from this second case okay so what we are doing now basically earlier we were writing this entire code over here in this main method but now here we have replaced it with this method name and we have moved this entire logic in this method so what will happen we are calling this method over here and basically we are passing that exact value that we are getting from the user we are passing that exactly over here and based on that value we are writing this entire logic 
Here we were writing this console or data and statement, but what will happen if you want to return some values from this place? So here you can use some logic. For example, here I'm writing this string result. Okay, you can assign all the values in this result. How? And at the last, you can return this value. Return result. And because this time we are returning the value in form of a string, so we have to update this keyword. If we are using this word, it means this method is not returning anything. But if we are returning the result value, which is a string, so here we have to type the string value like this. Okay. And now this will return the value. So for example, here I'm writing this where result is equals to like this. And now I have to use the console statement over here only at one single place like this. So what is the benefit of writing this kind of approach? The benefit is that in case I'm having a requirement that instead of writing this message on the console window, I want to display it at some other place or I want to append some value before displaying it, then I can do it only at one single place. In the earlier version, where we were using this console statement multiple times and just assume that you are having 10 or 12 or 20 cases, then you have to update your code at 20 places. But now you have to update your code only at one single place. Let's try this. And here I'm typing this India, hit the enter button. You can notice there is no change in the functionality and everything working as expected. Okay, so let's just copy this entire code and paste it again. And let's give two name. So we can also use it like this. So first let's remove this value. And here I'm using the return keyword directly. And if I'm returning from here, then there is no use of using this break keyword. like this remove this break keyword also let's just return it now you can see the code is much more readable and if i'm just duplicating this line comment the first one and here let's use this to run this application you can see again we will get the similar output because there is no change in the concept we are still having the same concept but we are using other way to writing that code what we are doing over here we are still getting the message from the user then we are just passing it in this switch case 2 method earlier we were using this switch case 1 but because i want to try this new approach so here i'm using this switch case 2 and here based on the value i'm just returning it like this now let's talk about our third approach so here i'm just going to copy this entire method and paste it again and here let's give a meaningful name which is 3 now this concept that i will talk now it is introduced in c sharp 9 to work with this concept you have to use at least c sharp 9 and here let's use basically one more line and use 3 over here this time like this okay now there is a major change in writing this concept so as per this concept first you have to write this value like this and then you have to use this switch statement so what we are doing the value that we are using inside the parenthesis we are writing it before the switch and there is no parenthesis now this time you do not have to use these case keywords you can remove all of them altogether and you have to replace this value of colon to a lambda expression this is a lambda expression that is available in the c sharp programming language okay and if you are using this lambda expression then you do not have to use this return keyword like this and just remove the semicolon also and use only one single comma that's it let's make the same changes over here as well i'm using the lambda expression and here use the comma and just remove this return keyword if i talk about this default keyword then again we can make same changes and here let's use this lambda expression and remove the semicolon because this is at the last so there is no need of using the comma and to replace this default we have to use only underscore okay let's put everything in the same line now in this approach this entire switch case statement will work as only one single statement and here you can notice you are getting the error it is saying you have to put a semicolon at the end right now again we are getting one more error it is saying that this method is not returning anything to return the value we can simply use the return keyword over here like this see everything is working as expected now what is the use of writing your switch case like this it is very much simple we are not using any unnecessary keywords like you are using the case the break and default we are simply using the actual values 
and we are not having anything else now if i will try to run this application just run it and pass the values for example this usa hit the enter button you can still notice that we are getting the proper message from this switch case statement let's run it and try with india let's type i and d i a hit the enter button you can notice i'm getting the message from this india and if i'm passing something different for example this abc you will get the note found which is coming from the default statement this is how you can work with the switch case statement now let's try one more example with the decimal values or with the num numeric values so basically this time let's use one more variable which is going to be int number and let's say its value is 10 okay and let's get one more method over here like this so basically this is going to be 4 and here instead of writing this string country i'm going to use this int number like this use the number over here and here you can write your conditions like this so for example if the number is 4 or 3 like this now what will happen if the number is 4 then we will get this output if the number is 3 we will get this output you can also write some more expression over here for example if the value is less than 4 then this will work here if the value is let's say it is greater than 4 right so what i'm having if any number that i'm passing in the switch statement if that number is less than 4 this is the condition then this entire logic will work or if the value is greater than 4 then this condition will work now it is very much useful to use these kind of expressions in your switch case statement let's try it with an example or i can update the message over here less than 4 and let's update the message in this second condition as well here i'm writing greater than 4 like this and use this over here let's just copy it paste it again remove this comment or uncomment it and use the 4 over here like this and this time i will pass this number because this method is expecting an integer note the string okay let's remove this line as well because we do not need any kind of input from the user so what i'm having i'm having only one variable of type integer the value is 10 and in next line i'm just calling this method switch case 4 what we have in the switch case 4 this is the method here we are having basically a switch statement and in the switch statement if the number is less than 4 then we will get this message if it is greater than 4 then we will get this message and because we are passing the 10 so ultimately we will get this value okay let's run this application you can notice we are getting the message it is greater than 4 so this is the simplest way of using the switch statement that is all in this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.